Hello everyone, I am Neoxenok, and this is my Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2, uh, Storm of Zahir. So, I've, uh, well, A, I've, uh, finished leveling up all the characters. Uh, B, I've also made a sort of decision about, uh, how I'll... Passengers. Oh, hello. Alive, you lovers. Passengers on I'm down in a talking mood right now. Aren't you just lovely? So yeah, as I was saying, I've uh, made a decision as so far as regard to... Because uh, I wanted to do the campaign for Neverwinter 1, uh, then the Hordes of the Underdark, and then the main campaign for Neverwinter 2, and then Steady Mask the of the Road! Betrayer. Um, just because even though they're basically two different... Even though those two campaigns are basically two different stories... Uh, Hordes of the Underdark being like a continuation of Neverwinter 1 main campaign and Mask of the Betrayer being a continuation of this campaign. Steady sailing, Captain. So we're going to talk to Volo here in a moment. But anyway, but I've decided to change my mind about that because on Steam I just learned that there's going to be a Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. And yeah, I'm just going to wait for that to do the main Neverwinter campaign. I don't know why this thing isn't doing... That's what he said. <laughs> now a storm brewing. This is more exciting than the time I found a rare scorpion in my boot. This trip has been quite the adventure. Uh, get a. Uh, how about this? There we go. You selected character mode for the. Shut up. Yeah, having a storm coming that might kill us. That sounds exciting. Cheer up, friend. This is a capable crew. I doubt such setbacks will hamper them much. And perhaps Timora will smile on us. Throw a little of her luck our way, don't you think? Uh-huh. The other day I was about to sit down to a delicious bowl of soup. In my word, I saw a pot of dolphins leaping through the water nearby. I was distracted and someone took my bowl. The soup within turned out to have gone bad. Uh-huh. Oh, so such a shame, but I'm grateful to those dolphins for saving me with their majesty. Reminds me of earlier when I had to leap out of the way of a maddened pelican and a crate slipped from a rope and crashed where I had just been. That sounds suspicious. You think so? In my experience, sea travel has always been hazardous. It could be I have offended Uncle Lee in some way. She is such a temperamental, I, I mean, magnificent goddess of the vast ocean. Hmm. Good traveler, I'll strive to make amends to the goddess, but uh, probably after this storm, don't you think? In the meantime, I should likely get below decks, as should you. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. see those hatches batten down tight all right because it's on character mode I wonder if I could rig the controller to work with character mode I'll figure that out later hello Dalen I don't, I don't like the look of the storm but the captain said not to worry I think we'll eat summer Sally, goal, right Queen of the depth seems to like you all right how about you give Umberly a quick prayer see if she'll be willing to let this gale slip by us huh Hmm. I hate landing in Samarok. Up that looks like Talos and Umberly aim to have a nice big fight brewing. Free when we're Trapping us in the middle the like they do. Yeah, they do that. I guess. Yo, this shouldn't be so frayed. Better add this to the list of weird things happening on the ship lately. Interesting. Up, you bilge rats! Trim those sails! Let's see if we can't get a good run on this gale before it hits us. Show it some stern for a while. Hello there, Mr. Redheaded Man. We're landing soon. Take on some new food and water. After Joaquin died from that soup, I've been afraid to eat anything. Eye on the horizon there, Master Kajin. You'd think Unlike people would look into this storm. a little bit harder. Got a job to do. 
Yeah, you look like you're real hard at work there, buddy. All right. Nice strike, course. Don't know who to blame for all this stuff that's been going wrong. The maid of misfortune or the sea queen. But Bishava or Umberly, don't think even the vigilant can take much more of this. Yeah. That's uh, certainly Eyes a thing that's happening. Not on the sky. Oh, Where yes. Lay a little bundle of free experience right points. So keep your wits about you. Let's keep doing this until I run out of experience points to gain, and then... It is honestly worth looking through if you're new to this game, but I'm not, so... Yep, stuff breaking around, food getting, uh, rotten. There's, uh, something brewing around here, that's for certain. Alright. Everyone has their spells prepared, I hope, I believe. Uh, yes. Yes, and... See, spells known. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah. We're all ready to go. <laughs> Greetings, kind readers. I must congratulate you on your impeccable taste in acquiring this volume. Clearly you have an eye for quality, even if you are, somehow, not familiar with the name Volofamp Gedar. <laughs> Though it has been some time since I delivered to you my last guide, fault entirely lies with my old friend and editor Elminster, who deemed my complete guide to the behavior of nymphs too naughty for print. I feel this tale you hold before you now perhaps my most important work yet. It began as I was journeying on the noble ship the Vigilant, traveling from the Sword Coast to the distant and exotic land of Samarak. A great storm began to gather. Captain Lastry assured the passengers that this store was no match for the stalwart vigilant. Indeed. But Lastry's confidence evaporated when her second mate took the ship's wheel and cried out that it would not return. The captain herself tried vainly to right the error, but the storm threw her aside, knocking her unconscious. <laughs> At the same time, a cry of terror sounded out as a sailor fell from the rigging into the frothing sea. And the shout of a leak came from below decks. It seemed certain that the vigilant had been sabotaged. Its rudder broken, its rigging shredded, its hull cracked. Well, I suppose they had a chance to... Well, maybe they didn't because the storm was coming. The vessel raced headlong toward the jagged coast of Samurai. Desperate to survive the looming fatal impact, the crew of the once proud vigilant now scrambled to escape the doomed ship. I found myself on a lifeboat shortly after the incident, and in the chaos, the world went dark. When I woke again, it was on the sandy shores of Samarak, and the beginning of a new adventure. And hooray for that! Thanks be to all gods! Helenbo doesn't have you, huh? I like how he's talking to me even though I'm hidden, but you know, that's fine. Game's got a game. The crew tried, but couldn't get you to a lifeboat. Anymore. You were in the rear of the ship when it broke apart. All the others there perished. You're lucky to be alive. Some gods probably got their eye on you. Uh, where are we? Well, we made it to Samarak, at least not too far from Samarak, the last ship wrecked. Saudi here says the locals call this part of the coastline Omgar's Tea. I don't know why that is, but there's a story behind it. Uh, probably, but get on with it! Probably because of all the rocks. Excellent deduction. Now the name Omgar, that's 
<laughs> now, how did we end up here? Just as tough a storm as the captain expected. That's not the half of it. The vigilant didn't respond when the second mate tried to steer it, so last three tried, to no avail. In fact, the storm flung her aside when she tried. Knocked her out cold. Oh. Ah, I thought she had fared better considering her speech. I paid a pretty penny for her supposed skill. Oh, that's... Well, aren't you just lovely? What are all those creatures over there? That looks to be our welcome. Friendly bunch, eh? So, staring down a bunch of angry uh, goblins that are heavily armed and have a dinosaur companion that I can see from here. And we have nothing. Except spells. We do have spells. Now's no time for humor, you great idiot. They took the captain and the first mate, and we're next! You are tall. They took the captain, true, but they could be trying to negotiate with us. Oh, they took the captain, eh? Well, we should, uh... They don't seem to be attacking. Do you think they're waiting for us or something else? Wait a minute, what have they been doing? When we crashed, they set upon the first boat to reach the shore. Carted away all the people in it. But since, they've just been gathering there, observing us. Mayhaps we've crashed near their home. I'm the most worldly one here. I've got experience on my side. I'll attempt to parlay with them, see if I can get back their prisoners. While I'm chatting, you all will have time to search through the debris for whatever weapons you can find. Yeah, uh huh. Are there any defensible positions in the area? Wise thought. Hmm. I'm no disciple of the Red Knight, but I think if we engage the Batiri here, we could keep the folks with spells and ranged weapons up on the hill behind us. Would any of you like to head up there now? We could do that. Maybe able to ma uh, fashion makeshift goods from the debris as well. What? Have you dealt with these creatures before? I cannot say. I it sounds like they speak a rather simple dialect of goblin. And while I have heard that they are rather fearsome, I do consider myself quite the charm. I can guarantee I'm better at that than you are. Well, I'm certain of it at least. I don't know what your charisma score is, but I'm fairly certain my diplomacy is far higher. <sighs> and what should you do do should this result in combat? Well, as much as I don't enjoy entertaining the thought, I suppose I'll attempt to scrounge for any goods I can find. I'll assist you if the need arises, of course. Uh, do, do any of the rest of you have any weapons? I... I have my trusty long sword, but I prefer to hold on to it. In that case, what are the rest of you? I have a simple short bow and arrows. I'd like to keep them if I could. There's enough to breathe here to craft something in the meantime. Uh, you know what? That's actually fine. I don't mind. <sighs> well, if uh, you don't want to give them up, perhaps we'd best scrounge on the beach. The hill behind us seems easily defensible. Perhaps you should move there. Good idea. I shall. Is there anything else we should be searching for? Can't say for Healing supplies, ammunition, weapons most of all. Anything you think could be of use should the Viteri attack. The Viteri. So you know, you've never encountered them before, but you know that they're called the Viteri. Very well, go for it, Polo. Uh, yeah. I'm sure this will go swimmingly if the game is telling me about how death and dying works. Great vote of confidence, game. Alright, so... His specialization is basically traps and uh, alchemical items, so he will go for the shrubbery. Hmm... Craft alchemy. You crush the herbs, letting the juice flow into a small bottle, which is can use as a healing potion. Alright. Even though he made the potion, it just identifies it as potion. What am I identified? Actually, that's fine. You take that. Uh, this is for stuff for crafting. All these books. She, on the other hand, has the craft armors and wep can craft armor and weapons. Character mode. 
Okay. Or he'll be better at it. Uh, dig through the pile for a more valuable item. You notice a shield underneath the pile, mostly covered by sand, and take it. Survival. Alright, we have stuff. Uh, she can be the sword and board, and he can, uh, do that. You know, the strength is terrible. Where is... There it is. That's something, at least. And this point, too, I'll have her activate Inspire Courage. Gonna temporarily shut all this off. Uh, well, <laughs> from track back from car. Uh, debris from the ship. You notice several implements in the pile, which could be useful. Let's see, spot, short sword, spot. Magical scroll. Another magical scroll. All useful items. Potion. Oh my. You should start. Okay. All right. Oops. Don't do that. Take that off. Don't kick in the AI again. Okay, where are you at? Get up here. Okay. We'll, uh... Save the summon for later. Stop. What is she doing? Uh, yeah. We'll do this now. Did she just rage at them? All right, whatever. Yeah, she is not meant to be in the thick of combat. Thank you very much. Okay. Fantastic. Still have the uh fantastic. Uh cure him. <laughs> oh no. Now we triggered them all. Well, I sped things up a little bit. Uh, he looks like he should be taunted. 
I do not want to be on the uh, receiving end of a Dino Nikus attack. Hey guys, a little help here. Note to self. That's my next spell that I am taking. She can go down to negative. She has negative 16. Oh, whatever. He needs to get his ass over to her. Where is she? Alright. Maybe I can just shortcut this. Concentration failure and tumble failure. Healing. She might be stable. Maybe, hopefully. <sighs> I'm alive. And there's more of them. Well, that was a disaster. Well, that was invigorating. In a fear of impending doom sort of way. And it seems we finally attracted the attention of some more kind locals. Yes, indeed. Halt! We are Samargald's elite guard. You're under arrest. We lose our own people. Or not. Can't we discuss this first? You ended here without permission. Could be you on T spies. We didn't land so much as crash, you Tim Wit. Friends, please. Tragedy has caused us to crash, and we've lost many brave souls. I've been sent to speak with Sasani, a merchant of some renown, a lighted story. You could have heard that name in passing. You have no proof you know her. And you have no proof that we're you on T. Now we're now are you going to let us go? The proof of your crime is right here in front of me. All the survivors on this beach are charged with unlawful entry into the nation of Samarak, vassal state of proud Nimrod, and are thereby under arrest. 
Oh, uh, nope. Then by the order of the High Fence Hazmage, you are to be placed under arrest and escorted to our capital city of Samargal for processing. If you really believe this Sasani is expecting you, outsider, she can find you in prison. Cleric! Raise the fallen. Death will not save anyone. Not until a proper interrogation. Take what you need from the dead. Let nothing escape our sight. Fantastic. <sighs> okay, well, at least our archer has, uh, some bows and arrows. Wonder what it could be. Well, yeah, this has been an unmitigated disaster. Alright, uh, I guess let's go now. You able to walk proper, foreign dog? Stumble or fall on the way to Samargal, and you wish we'd left you for the material. Very well. Better hope you can find someone to speak for your innocence, outsiders. Else you'll rot in the prisons of seven. March! Hmm? We're gonna rot. You're gonna make us rot in the prisons anyway. Reporting for duty, Captain. At ease, Elite. What's all this rattle behind you? investigated the shore. There was a shipwreck and some hostile natives. We managed to pacify the natives and return with these prisoners. Pacify? That's a diplomatic word for it. You're gonna pacify us too? Is that a threat, foreigner? If so, your pacification can most certainly be arranged. However, you there, I recognize you. Speak up. Ah, yes. Good man. My fame has even spread here. I am the writer Volothap Gedog. I've traveled here to see Sasan, a merchant of some renown. I wasn't uh, pointing at you, Volo. I wasn't pointing at you, foreigner. Although, actually, I do recognize you from an illustration in one of your books. You looked younger. Master Luari, you are he, am I correct? You work. It is, Captain. And that man Volo is my responsibility as well. Certainly, we apologize for arresting these men wrongfully, Lady Sasani. But how did you know that... You would insult me by presuming my intelligence and scrying skills are less than the pitiful powers of those you work for? Your superiors will hear of this, assuredly. Uh, never, my lady. Guards, release Master Volo and Luari to the care of Lady Sasani at once. Uh, yeah, you can't uh, let one unlawful arrest go without freeing the others, right? Sir, what about the rest of this rabble? What's to be done with them? They could well be spies, or filthy yuan team. Best to kill them, just to be sure. My Lady Sasani, these guards are obviously incompetent. Might you help us argue for our release? You are not without presumption, but within a reasonable degree I can appreciate. I think I can make use of your talents. Captain, release these prisoners, unless you would like to detail to the High Phantasmage how you prevented an approved merchant of the state from doing business. No, my lady. We release them to your care. But the gods help you if they cause trouble here. My lady, your kindness surpasses all the tales Volo has told us. I am in your debt. I don't have time for foppish behavior. I have work that needs doing. Foppish. Do not fall upon deaf ears, stranger. Now, I have business to attend to with my two associates. In the meantime, I suggest you retire to Lyra's Trick, the local tavern. Come see me after you have rested yourself properly. Luare, Volo, 
You will accompany me back to the mercantile house. We must talk of the wreck of the vigilant and other matters of great import. Fantastic. Well, that was fun. Almost died thanks to run running after someone who was running in the wrong direction. <sighs> Fine. Um. Let's see, I don't need that up. Alright, so she doesn't really have much to speak of in terms of equipment. I don't really pick up all that much. Oh, I wonder what feats that I got since uh, I think uh, some people had died. Oh yeah, that's Shipwreck Survivor. Oh yeah, I didn't get the one that gives me a plus one to... Okay. Uh, some people died. And you're certain no progress has been made since then? Yes, my lord. Once the business at the keep was established, it seems they vanished. I've heard little talk about it since. Sasani, I object. This traveler's information is suspect at best. Who knows but that he didn't hear your name and contact you hoping for coin. You forget yourself, Nasirin. Master Volo was sent here by my, our associate, Bill Foss. And this news is brave. And combined with recent events, it foretells things I am displeased to hear. But, aha, I see other survivors have seen fit to make an appearance. Why is it though? Volo, we shall discuss this more later. Nasirin, See to repairing your tone when you address me next. And Luare, I shall review your report on the wreck later. Yes, my lady. Yes, Lady Sasani. No problem at all. Of course, my Lady Sasani. I am at your disposal. So, we're done then. Welcome, travelers. I am Sasani, owner of this mercantile house. And it was a ship under my employ that you were traveling on, the ill-fated Vigilant. Indeed. You may have noticed that the guards will not let you leave the city. Not that they wouldn't love to see you slain by the denizens of the wilderness, but they'd much rather do the job themselves. And with enough time, and without my protection, they will. So what must we do to gain your protection? You approach this wisely. That is fortunate. It may be that our meeting can have mutual benefit beyond what I had at first surmised. Uh, of course, this is how you, uh, what do you do, what is it called, networking? The Council of Samarak will not allow me to protect you unless you are under my employ. And if the guards do not see you perform this part, they will kill you at the slightest hint of suspicion. Fortunately, I have <laughs> tasks that need doing, and I believe your resilience will help you to fill that role. Leon. Frank, shh. I'll assist you, but I'm afraid I'm not very well equipped at the moment. If you could offer some gold to help with this, I'd be grateful. A practical suggestion. You have foreseen the next step in my plans, and I presume this means you've agreed to the arrangement. There are a pair of tasks I should ask your assistance with, both oh. of which require you to return to the scene of the shipwreck. Undoubtedly, you are not fond of this location, but it cannot be helped. Oh, I don't mind killing more Beytiri. That ship was carrying a number of goods valuable to my operation here. It would distress me if they were to be lost. If you were to return and acquire as much salvageable cargo as you were able, I should be pleased with the results. Uh, it's unlikely the goods would survive for very long under these conditions, and the Beytiri would probably stole some, but I'll see what I can do. What's next? The wreck. I am convinced it was not an accident, but I lack proof to support this theory. Take this report, investigate the area, and document what you find. The authorities will see this as a harmless insurance investigation, but it will tell me far more. Here, this ring shall prove that you are under my employ, and this gold should be sufficient to allow you to properly equip yourselves. 
before you venture out of the city. You are too kind, While Lady Sasani. You are site, see if you can find any additional survivors, and be wary. It seems both our fortunes have not been promising recently. I would be careful for any threats that seem intent on continuing that trend. Ah, uh, the trading system. For crafting or sell them to various towns in the region, when selling these resources, you will receive trade bars. These trade bars can be redeemed for gold, along with other hidden rewards as you trade. Note that di uh, different towns may offer different prices for resources. It also helps to scout out the towns that offer the best prices. Excuse me, the cargo that you collect is measured in units. Asani has provided you with enough carrying capacity to hold 10 cargo units. To view cargo you are currently carrying, open the inventory screen, I by default, and click the wagon button. As you progress through the game, you will unlock additional resources and discover new aspects of the uh, trading system. Indeed. Alright. Okay, but first we well, let me go to the inventory and look at this is the wagon right here, and we have nothing. We have nothing. Sasani's so AC bonus plus one and five bonus hit points. It seems like something that could go to you. For your protection. All right. Okay, so yeah, level up. We'll level up all the characters. This time it's only one level, so it won't be as tedious as the others. So we're leveling up as level 5 characters. Uh, let's see, leveling up everything but Intimidate and Listen. Must have forgotten that last time. This isn't. So I think that's actually more than what I should have. Let me let me look at my totals. Ten is normal. Because I'd be putting a rank in spellcraft. Fair enough. Okay. A good second level spell. Let's see, she's just here as kind of a party buffer type. I should do, do some, uh, Rage. Benefit the Barbarian's Rage class ability. Unlike the class ability, the spell's duration ends. Your party members are not fatigued. The spell does not stack with uses of the Rage class ability. Seems useful as though it would cast on our three tanky warriors. Uh, the two animal companions and uh, the dwarf. Sounds good. Especially because I don't think that's a spell that she has. No. Expeditious Retreat is a must. Yeah. You're good. Fire defense. And that is for her. Easy. We're going to be a better cleric. Uh, yeah. Easy peasy. Also, don't need to memorize cure my wounds because I can spontaneously convert spells into healing spells equal to their level, which probably means I can't do cure serious wounds because that's like a special bonus thing. Anyway. 
do a little strength and yeah. First level spells, Bane and Bless. Divine Favor is always a good one. And, uh, uh, so Tricking is fast healing one, allowing it to heal one hit point per round until the spell ends after maximum of 15, 10 rounds plus one round per level. Should be 14 rounds. Magic weapon and shield of faith. Right. Not really a whole lot there. Might as well all just be light spells. Him? I'll do Frank first. And he'll be more wizard. And level 5 will be increasing concentration, disable device, and hide. Do silently open, lock, and search. And finally, spellcraft. All right, Frank is good. Uh, let's see, good spells to learn. Um, you should not be in melee combat at all. For the duration of the spell, your weapon gains the ability to daze opponents who fail their save for one round. Save is calculated based on the caster's abilities. It might be something useful to have later. I don't know if it works with ranged weapons, though. be good to have. Uh, I don't really need it right now, though. I'll... I think I can get web here. Get Scorching Ray. That's uh, always a classic to get. And, uh... Animalistic power. A plus two bonus to strength, dex, and constitution. Not too bad the thing to cast on uh, on the animal companions. I want him to be a little bit more offensively inclined. He already has mirror image as a defense spell. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to choose from here. Um, you know what? I will get Blade Weave. Alright, for level 2 spells, just pick up one of each. Retreat, Grease, that's your Acid Orb, and it's Electricity. Uh, every two cast your levels beyond first. Yeah, that's fine. Good. All right. Last but not least, uh, Gus.
Uh, just increasing everything he had before. Favorite enemy. Uh, Undead's a good one. It was undead at every level, including in this game. Getting a plus two to uh, attack and damage them is not a bad way to go. Alright. I think we are ready to go. So, these. So say so plan on getting her a better and get her better armor too. Uh, her armor is just f actually I will upgrade her armor as well. Uh, he's wearing, uh, you know what, I'll sell that just for the extra money. Just because I know what I plan on multiclassing him as, and he shouldn't be in melee any- Well, you know what? Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll just stay out of combat. I want the extra money right now. Uh, so, no, 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 I'll keep them both and have one for scribing and another for use in combat. Or I might just use both of them. It's all good. Alright. Okay, now it's time for shopping. Carved ivory from Cormier, craftsmanship as you've never seen. Hmm. Clever choice, traveler. Dispense with the frippery of those around you. Ignore their seagull cries. You want things you can use, do you not? Ooh, I do. Show me your wares. Pray skill, you browse the merchant's wares. All right. First of all, let's sell. Let's sell. Let's sell. Let's sell. There we go. Plenty of money. Okay. As far as her, she wants a chain shirt. I don't need any... I don't want any helmets. Watchman's Helm would be nice, but I uh, can't afford it. I'll get uh, plenty of arrows. And uh, short bow. 
Perfect. All right. Good deal. All right, as for her, uh, she needs a little bit of everything. Uh, but she doesn't have access to a Dwarven War Axe here. Which is a crying shame, but it's what we have to deal with, I guess. Um, I can at least get you something better than a short sword or a ship's plank. War Mace. D12 damage. Uh, large weapon size, meaning she would have to two-hand it, which, uh, we're, we're not gonna have her do. Uh, she can use a human weapon for the time being. We'll get her some good armor. Uh, 678G for a seven point bonus, which is really good, honestly. At least at the current level. Certainly, we could afford full plate, but that'd be the last thing we could buy. Uh, since she has a fighter level, she knows how to use a tower shield, so that is a must. So what we'll do, we'll get her plate boots. Winged helmet for style. She had scale mail, which was only a plus four bonus. She didn't have the dex bonus to fill it out. We can get her a uh, a banded mail, which isn't as good as the other one, but it's almost as good. It's certainly it's two points better than the previous one, and three and a third of the price of the half plate. So, banded mail is what we're getting. That's all I have to do until we can get her a Dwarven War Axe. I'm sure we could make her one eventually, maybe. Uh, let's see. He doesn't need too much, so I'll just load him up on arrows. Uh, he doesn't really have much strength, so I'm not going to worry about that. And as for him, I think I bought the only short bow. I don't think he can use. No, he can't use a long bow. I'll have to get the long bow from someone else. I really have to. He does have spells. Speaking of which, uh, this one I don't have. Those I don't have either. Uh, the ones in red are divine spells, which she doesn't have access to, and sleep is from a bard school, which is enchantment. And these recipes are for crafting. equipped. Uh, I know there's another shop around here somewhere that I want to visit. 
Yeah, there they are. Well, well. You don't look like you belong here, Zermanka. A recent import to the friendly shores of Samarak. What do you think, Arthiuk, my pearl? <laughs> oh, Arthiuk, don't be so grumpy. What impression does that give to our lovely guest? She came here for a reason, did she not? And why did this feather float to us, if I can inquire? I am but in ya, uh, as you may call, as they call me here. That delicious jade tiger here is Artyok, my bodyguard. I am a merchant of my own renown, known in what circles I seek to be, connections I have of all kinds, we sparrow with my pockets and many mines. What do you do here? Oh, dabble in the rabble, selling, buying, collecting things of interest, and occasionally I seek a willing friend to line the palms with coins in exchange. Tasks strange, but not terrible, I assure the little bird. You mentioned tasks. I did. You heard right, my eager bird. Things I could use for gold, you could use, perhaps, I think. Hmm. There's a creature in the plains, Bella Alak the Ferocious, a dire boar of great strength. Ravages he the fields of spice farmers and gores and internet cattle to death as if cursing them for their domesticity. There is a bounty on his head and power in the tusks. Those on the black market, they won't pay your bounty, but they will pay it to me, I know, but I will advance you that money. And the tusks that uh, have power, those I shall pay for as well. But beware, Bala Alexander, little pigeon, for with you he will not parlay. No, oh, what else can I... darn it. What else can I do for you, wee bird? Show me what you have for sale. Oh, hey, you uh, have plus one items. Okay. Few or any of which I can afford at the moment, but that can come later. Uh, for the moment, actually, let's get you. There we go, short bow. There you go, my wizard friend. Oh yeah, let's uh describe that knock spell. Alright. All sorts of fun things. Here. Nor does he have someone creature too. True strike or a web. All good things. Does he have grease? I think he does have grease. I'm certain he doesn't have false life, though. Okay. So, I believe I am fully equipped as far as things go. Actually, you know, I should get him like a monk's robe or something. Some kind of clothing. Because eventually I plan on multi-classing him as rogue. Actually, you know what? I'll just get him a chain shirt until I do. As for him, I'll get him a conjurer's robe. Maybe a uh, a mage's skull cap. Concentration plus two. He could use that. Uh, he could definitely use that.
and a, uh, you won't get a sorcerer's robe. Let's get a standard wizard's robe. As for him. Alright, I think we're done with that for now. She also should have like a ton of recipes too. I'm gonna buy a lot of them. bother with the long pose out. I don't think anyone in this group who has strength will necessarily need them. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the crafting won't come in until about 15th level when just about all the characters will gain the feats uh, necessary to do a lot of that crafting. Longbows, obsidian. Uh, I should see about some, uh, using some of these traps. It might be some of them might be useful, though I probably won't bother them until much later. There aren't very many maps that you stay on for very long. So yeah, blank scroll. You can just blow the rest of the money on these. Blank scrolls are used for scribing scrolls, which I think I could do on the fly. Oops, nope, don't do that. I don't plan on doing any right now, but I might look into it later. Anyway, we have 100 gold left. You can save it just for emergencies. All right, we are done shopping. There's still a few things I want to look at around here. We can do that next time. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Take care, and see you next time.